All right. <laughs> this is our little technical difficulty to start this, but I uh, hope that's not a sign of things to come this season. But anyhow, uh, I am back as a mighty fan yet again with another season of the NFL. Actually kicked off Thursday night with the Patriots beating the Steelers, the Cheatriots over the Steelers. Um, but today is the first NFL football Sunday of the season. Now, my Eagles don't play until tomorrow night. They play at Atlanta against the Falcons, part one of a, of a Monday night doubleheader. You got the 49ers and the Vikings on after that, both games on ESPN. Um, looking forward to it, really looking forward to the season. I think it's going to be a special season for the Eagles. I really do. I think we're going to have a, a, a great run this year. Um, you know, the, obviously there's some question marks with players coming back healthy, new players, but if the Madden game is any indication of what this season could be, and I played Madden 16 the other night, I played the Eagles-Falcons game, and the Eagles won 59-31 to <laughs> against the Falcons. DeMarco Murray probably isn't going to happen in real life, but DeMarco Murray rushes for a, uh, a, a new uh, single game record 310 yards and three touchdowns. I had fun with DeMarco Murray in that game. And Sam Bradford, four touchdowns, one touchdown run. He got hurt. It was back spasm, so he was back <laughs> uh, later on the next drive in the game. But, uh, but uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. And, you know, scoring 59 points in week one. Eagles probably won't be doing that in real life, but you never know. Uh, this is actually, this video is twofold. It is my annual prediction video for the NFL, what I think is going to go down to get to Super Bowl 50 in uh, Levi Stadium, home of the 49ers. Hint, it won't be the 49ers. Sorry, 49er fans. But your 49ers will continue the tradition of the team that hosts the Super Bowl, the stadium that hosts the Super Bowl. The home team will not be in the Super Bowl. But anyhow, I digress. We move forward. So I got my predictions right here. I'm going to go through them a little quicker than normal in, in my annual predictions vid because I do have a second part of this series. And that is, of course, the season of the fan, season deuce. Season two is here. Last year, of course, I took you guys through what it was to be a Philadelphia Eagles fan for a season. You got to see some reaction. You got to see me kind of breaking down some games, Xing and Oing, and as it were. Uh, had a lot of fun with that series. Uh, didn't get a lot of views, so I'm hoping to get a little more views this year. <laughs> I know most people on my channel just want to see the throwback jerseys, right? But, yes, I am a Philadelphia Eagles fan, a diehard Eagles fan, and there's been a lot of misconceptions about what Eagle fans are. And last season, I wanted to kind of take you through a season as a Philadelphia Eagles fan. You know, there was no booing of Santa Claus, unless he was wearing, like, a Dallas jersey or something. There was no, you know, the, the, the vulgar things that we do kind of stuff that people always talk about, even though most fans do the same stuff because, you know, when you mix alcohol and sports, things tend to happen. I'm just saying. <laughs> okay. But anyhow, it was a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun with it, and I want to continue it on. I want to go through season after season of this. Hey, it's my channel. I'm going to do what I want in it, okay? <laughs> so this is going to be season two of Season of the Fan, and I'm going to talk a little about what I hope to accomplish this year with the second season of being a Philadelphia Eagle fan, taking you through the season game week by week. But, um... Before I do that, let me break down what I think is going to happen in the NFL season for the 2015-16 season, and let's get right into it right here, right now. I'm going to go through this. Again, I have it all on paper right here. Um, I'm going to go through this on September, what's today, the 13th, uh, 2015. It's actually just the, the, the big kickoff, really, for the NFL season because it's the first NFL Sunday of the NFL season. I've got the Redskins-Dolphins game on right now. So, anyhow, I'm going to get into that game after this video, but let's get right through it. I'm going to start with the AFC. I'm going to break down the AFC, and I'm going to go to the NFC, which, of course, is what my Eagles are a part of. So, here are my picks for the 2015-16 season. AFC East, the Cheatriots. They'll cheat their way to another division title. That's what they do. <laughs> Okay, so until someone out cheats them, they're still going to keep cheating and winning <laughs> their division titles. So the East goes to the Cheatriots. The North, even though they, they had a tough loss on Thursday, I'm still going to say the Steelers. I, th I still think the Steelers, once they get Le'Veon Bell back 
and they they have their full complement and arsenal there on offense. I think that they will they will uh, win a tough division and uh, win the. Uh, I hate these pop ups. And oop, I forgot to silence this. I got my alerts going on here. It is a it is a football Sunday, you know. So let me silence this. Okay, that should be the end of a little stuff. But now I have the Steelers winning the North, the South, the Colts. Uh, you know, perennial favorites there to the Colts. And the West, uh, I got the Broncos doing it one more time, winning the division. Uh, and a tough tough one there against uh, uh, Kansas City, San Diego, an improved Raider team. I know, shout out to Raider Nation out there. You guys will be improved this year, but still the Broncos win the division. Old hat, right? The wild cards are going to be the Buffalo Bills and the Baltimore Ravens. I got the Killer Bees <laughs> getting the wild cards. Buffalo and Baltimore. Um, and now we go to the NFC. And the NFC East, hey, come on, Eagles. They rebound and reclaim the division from stinking Dallas. They're going to win the division this year and uh, take it home for the second time in three seasons. In the South, the New Orleans Saints. They win the South. Probably like an eight and eight record, nine and seven, but they'll they'll be able to win the South this year. The North, my uh, a much improved team, and to get one of my favorite fantasy guys back this year, I have him back on my team, Adrian Peterson. So I'm going to go with the Minnesota Vikings. A lot of surprise here, but hey, you know what? Before a season, you got to make a few surprise picks, right? I got to go with the Vikings over the Packers. I think that this could be a good year for the Vikings. I really do. I like what they did at the end, towards the end of last season. They get AP back. They get their guy back, right? Their Haas back. He's back. And uh, the addition of uh, Mike Wallace, I think, is going to be a nice addition there. Uh, their defense is, is one that not a lot of people talk about, but they're pretty solid. Uh, so I like the Vikings in that division, and I do think that uh, the injury to Jordy Nelson is going to be a big injury for the Packers. Not to say that they're not going to have a good year because they still have A-Rod and he's still going to put up his numbers, but they're going to be having a little more difficulty this season only because no Jordy Nelson. And I think that defense, as, as good as they played last year, I think they're going to take a slight step back. They're still a bit older. I think they take a, st a slight step back this year, and I think the Vikings overtake them and win the division. That's just my pick. And in the West... The Legion of Boom, even though Chancellor isn't here right now, isn't on Seattle, I think as the season goes on, the holdout will end. He'll be back. The Boom will be back. Uh, Bam Bam goes back to the Legion of Boom, and Seattle goes ahead and wins the division yet again this season. The wild cards, Green Bay and Dallas. <laughs> and I really thought about this one. I thought about not having Dallas in the playoffs as a wild card, but you know what? They're, as much as I hate to say this, they're probably still going to be a good team, good enough to at least make the playoffs. So I have them as a wild card. Um, it was a coin flip. It really was. I could have gone Detroit there. I could have gone Arizona. But in the end, I think Dallas, as much as I hate them, I think they'll probably just be good enough, those snakes, to, to slither their way back into the playoffs. Um, you know, maybe with, with a 9 or 10 win season and they get into the playoffs as a wild card. Okay. The... the League MVP will be Andrew Luck, quarterback of the Indianapolis Colts. Um, and Super Bowl 50 at Levi Stadium. Now, two years ago, I hit it right on the head. I said the Seahawks would beat the Broncos. Last year, yeah, not so good. I said the Broncos would beat the Saints. Didn't happen. Peyton Manning didn't retire, didn't walk out off into the sunset. He's back. So my whole prediction last year sucked. But I'm due to have another good one because, you know, I had one good year one year. So now I'm back to having a good year again. I've never done this in my picks. For those of you who have watched my annual picks, I've only done this about four or five seasons, I think. I've always kind of stayed away from making this bold a statement and this bold a pick. But I am believing <laughs> that in Super Bowl 50, it's been 50 Super Bowls, we're due. <laughs> <laughs> so I am going to say right here to you, my my YouTube public, that this year, in, in February of 2016, yours truly will be celebrating like crazy, like never before. Eagle Nation will be celebrating like never before because, oh, I'm going bold. I'm saying it this year. 
the Philadelphia Eagles will defeat the Indianapolis Colts. We are going to be Super Bowl champions. The Eagles will be the Super Bowl champions. They will finally win a Super Bowl. We're finally going to have something to celebrate in February. <laughs> All those other fan bases can finally shut up about us never winning. Because this year, so 2015-16 season, my Philadelphia Eagles will be Super Bowl champions. They will beat the league MVP, Andrew Luck, in Super Bowl 50. And I, I'm picking this Super Bowl because I've played Madden since Madden 97, I believe it was. Madden 98, maybe. 97 or 98. I've won about nine championships with the Eagles in these years. In, in Madden. I've won on ESPN, too. But Madden is the one that I really get the most hype about. Two of those times, I beat the Colts. The Eagles beat the Colts twice. So I'm kind of going with the Madden you know, scheme of things with this. So I'm going Eagles-Colts in the Super Bowl, and the Eagles doing what they did in my world, my Madden world, beating the Colts in the Super Bowl, in Super Bowl 50. Now, some of you say, well, you're just an Eagles fan, you're saying this. No, no, no. You remember, I've made these predictions for at least four or five seasons. This is the first time that I've ever predicted the Eagles to win a Super Bowl. Now, some of you are saying, oh, it's just a fan talk, and ah, what's he know? Ah, ah, ah. 2008. I predicted the Phillies would win the World Series before the season. And in 2008, the Phillies won the World Series. In 2007, I said the Phillies are finally going to break their streak of not making the playoffs, and they're going to make the playoffs. I forgave Joe Carter <laughs> in 2007. In 2007, the Phillies made the playoffs and for the first time since 1993. 2008, I said they're going to take the next step. They're going to win the World Series. 2008, the Phillies won the World Series. A couple years ago, I said the Seahawks would beat the Broncos in the Super Bowl. Maybe it was an easy pick. I went with it. I said Seahawks over Broncos, Seahawks over the Broncos. Last year, didn't do so good. So I'm due for the good year again, and I'm going to have the best year because I'm saying right here, right now, the Eagles are going to win the Super Bowl. Usually I stay away from it. I don't want to jinx anything. I don't want to say, oh my God, okay. But this year I believe in it. Why do I believe in it? Because it's the tripod theory. The tripod, if you notice teams that win Super Bowls, what do they have? They have a good offense. They have a good defense. They have good special teams play. What do the Eagles have? We know they have the offense. They have a good defense, and they have, a, they have good special teams play. Best special teams in the league last season. In the preseason so far, they've shown no sign of letdown from that. They actually added some pieces to it. They're going to have great dynamic special teams play again. Their offense is going to be great. And their defense, I think, will be improved because they will have an improved secondary. So we know the defensive line is great. We know that the, the, the linebackers look pretty good, obviously. Some new pieces in there. They re, re up Michael Kendricks. Bring back D'Amico Ryans. They bring in Kiko Alonso. I think that's going to be good. Their, their linebackers are going to be solid. And their secondary. The secondary, which was the biggest problem for them last season, I think will be improved. Hey, look, they were 32nd last year. They have to go up from there. <laughs> okay? So the, 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 the additions of Maxwell and Carroll and Rowe, rookie, uh, out, of, out of Utah, I think is going to improve their secondary. They have a better secondary coach now. They have better secondary schemes. And we saw in the preseason they weren't burned on any big plays, which was a big killer last season. So I think they'll be improved enough. And obviously this prediction lies in the hope, as all Eagle fans do, that if I can pick this up right, this guy stays healthy, Sam Bradford. Some of you are laughing. Ah, Sam Bradford, he gets hurt every year. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. He is going to stay healthy this year. He is going to help us win the ultimate goal. We're going to win the Super Bowl. Sam Bradford is going to be comeback player of the year and then let the bidding begin for him in the offseason. Because <laughs> it's a one-year deal here with the Eagles, and, hey, if they go on to win the Super Bowl, I think the Eagles should definitely bring him back. But uh, Sam Bradford, who has a great offensive mind at, at, at coach and Chip Kelly, Nick Foles was a pro bowler under Chip Kelly. Let's not forget that. So if Nick Foles can be a pro bowler under Chip Kelly, Sam Bradford, who's a better quarterback than Nick Foles, 
with all due respect to Nick now in St. Louis, I think he has a chance to be an All-Pro. I think he has a chance to be Comeback Player of the Year. I think he has a chance to be perhaps even the Super Bowl MVP. Hey, how about that? And all those people who were laughing, let's see them laugh that. <laughs> so that is my bold prediction. I've never made this prediction before. I've never gone with my hometown Philadelphia Eagles to win a Super Bowl. But I'm going with it this year. I'm putting all my chips on chip. They're all in. I'm saying we are going to win, and all those other fans can finally shut up <laughs> because we finally won. <laughs> so anyway, that's my predictions. We'll see what happens. I'm leaning heavy on my Eagles, but I believe this is going to be the year. I believe all three phases, the, the, the tripod factor, the Madden factor, all the things... I really think it's going to go in their favor this year. I think they finally win one. It's Super Bowl. It's been 50 Super Bowls now. It's about damn time. Come on. <laughs> so let's get it done. I know other fan bases have one. Well, what about us? It's our turn. I'm an Eagles fan. Damn it. <laughs> you guys can still wait. <laughs> I want it more. <laughs> Anyhow, so yes, the Eagles over the Colts in Super Bowl 50 in Levi Stadium, California, home of the 49ers. There you go. That's my bold prediction. Okay, so about season of the fan. It is season two of season of the fan. I'm looking forward to this. And one of the things that I want to do more of this year than I didn't do last year, I did it for, I think, one game, like the Redskins game. I want you guys to see some in-game, you know, emotion as little alarms going off. Just don't mind that. But some more in-game emotion. I want to bring more of that this season. Um, I have a GoPro cam, and I think that's going to help to capture some of it. Um, and, and, and that's one of the things that I really want to bring you this year, a little more of that. Uh, a little more out and about with some friends. Maybe we'll do more with the captain, Jason, of course, of the Dirty 30. Uh, my buddy Mark Epp. I want to get more fan reaction. My, my friend, you're going to see us kind of reacting towards during the season about how the, how the team's doing, about you know, what, you know, what they can improve, what they need to improve on, how, where they're looking great on. You're going to see some more of that. You're going to see more of me out and about <laughs> with, with the people, <laughs> with my fellow Eagle fans. You have to see a little more of that. I'm not just going to break down games because I think after a while that gets a little boring. I mean, with all due respect, you, you see a lot of people, you know, with these video series and you see kind of the reaction before the game or after the game and breaking stuff down. That's all well and good. I mean, I mean, I think a lot of people do a great job with that. I know, <laughs> I know Pistol, he, <laughs> Pistol 2130, he gets a little, um, you know, he, he really he really does bleed uh, silver and black. He, he he goes nuts for his Raiders, and after losses, I you know I, I still remember the rant of him throwing the pillow on the bed. It's <laughs> you know you see that emotion, and and I think last season one of the great things about last season was you saw that roller coaster ride. The Eagles started so great, you know, and then they they took the plummet towards the end, and it was that roller coaster of a season. You just didn't know what to expect the week to week. Uh, there was injuries, there was inconsistency, you know, the big win on, on Thanksgiving against Dallas, and that was their last big win of the year. Uh, but how excited it w I was after that, that win with all the Dallas sucks and all this and that. that hey, that's the emotion, and that's what I want to bring more of this season. I didn't bring enough of that last season, I felt. And I think that that, you know, kind of made the series lack a little bit. And, and I want to kind of bring more of that emotion, you know, to this, year, to this year's uh, um, uh, series. Because it is about being a Philadelphia Eagle fan. It's like being a fan of any team in the, in the National Football League. You're going to have emotion. You know, there's going to be that aspect of it, and I want to bring more of that to this series. Not just breaking down games or this is what they did and this is what they could have done and this is what they did, you know, what I hope they'll do. Uh, I, I want you guys to kind of experience, kind of be in the room with me, you know, watching games, seeing what it's all about, uh, to be a fan of, of the the Philadelphia Eagles, and uh, you know what 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 that what that entails. So I want to bring a little more of that this season to to the series. And like I said, it all starts tomorrow night. Uh, Eagles at Falcons. I'm going to try to do some in-game stuff, but we'll see um, exactly how much of it I actually capture because it is the first game of the season, and I want to really kind of really more focus on the game. But I'm going to try to put, put some some video together with the GoPro, maybe some with the the cam here, I, I don't know, but we'll see. 
I'm going to try starting week one and then move moving on and on and on from there week to week. I'm looking forward to it. I, again, I think this is going to be a very special season. Uh, my prediction is 11 and five. That's what I predicted last season, and I was off by a game. They went they went 10 and six, but I think they go 11 and five this year and get the second seed behind Seattle in the NFC uh, and and a first round bye, and then eventually uh, get to. Levi Stadium in February and win the Super Bowl against the Colts. That again, that's that's my prediction. I'm sticking to it. I don't care. <laughs> I'm sticking to it. Um, so I'm looking forward to the season. I'm looking forward to bringing more of that to you. And uh, hopefully, you know, hopefully you guys appreciate, you know, um, the series and 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 you know, you know, my wackiness of being an Eagles fan. It, it's it is. It, it's it's one of those things. You know, we we all want. That ultimate goal is that damn alarm goes off again. We all want that ultimate goal as Eagle fans to win the Super Bowl. It's been something that's eluded this team since the start of the you know since there's been a Super Bowl you know 50 year, 50 seasons ago, um, just about. And you know, darned if we hear it enough from all the other fan bases, particularly in, in our division here in the NFC East. They've all won at least um, at least what is it now three. <laughs> Redskins have three. Giants have uh, Giants have four. Dallas has has five. So yeah, I mean, you know, we we gotta hear it all the time. Um, and I'm hoping, as any Eagle fan does, that this will finally be our year. You know, it's it's like what the Red Sox fans had to go through for all those years. It's like what Cubs fans are going through. You know, you, every season you want it to be the year, and then every season you're kind of let down at the end. You know, and obviously there's some seasons that are a little more. Um, you, you know, you have a little more hope than others. <laughs> uh, there's, there might be more talent on the team than others, that, that, you know. But um, the goal is always the same. The goal is to want to win and, and, and to have that desire for it and, and to want it, you know, to, to want to win that championship and, and, and to go to that parade. And, my goodness, if they ever want – oh, my God, I, I can't even imagine. I, I was at the 08 Phillies parade. I can't even imagine what the Eagles want would be like. I mean, you talk about some parades for some of these teams is like pe- pe- people were in the thousands. Oh, you're talking about millions. <laughs> the Eagles win a Super Bowl. You're going to see what a parade's all about, let me tell you that. But um, we all want that, you know, and, 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 and it's eluded us and it's gotten away so many times. The Eagles have only been in two Super Bowls, but they lost both and uh, once to the Cheatriots. But it... it <laughs> You know, it is. It, it's eluded us. It's gotten away, and and it's something that is all of our dream to finally have. And I can, I can speak as a diehard Eagle fan, as as a fan that's been here for a long time. It, it is. You hear it on sports talk radio. This is the goal. This is all we want is to finally win one. And you know what? After we win one, then we're going to say, okay, now we got to win two. But it starts with one, <laughs> and it would mean everything if we can finally win one and and I do believe and and maybe it's it's the maybe it's the green blood in me but I do believe that this is going to be the year that, that, that it's Super Bowl 50 it's 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 a nice number there it's going to be a huge Super Bowl huge celebration and I believe firmly in my heart and also in my brain that this is going to be the year because they have the three facets of the tripod that you need to win offense defense special teams and I think they're finally going to do it. I think they have the right coach to do it. I think they got the right players to do it. Now they just got to go do it. <laughs> so it starts tomorrow night, Monday night, and I got my Amorosa rolls already, my Eagles Amorosa rolls, Philadelphia tradition. Got that ready for the game. Got to have a nice, some nice sandwiches before the game and um, enjoy Eagles taking on the Falcons in the George Dome tomorrow night, Monday Night Football. I think the Eagles are going to win. I really do. I think they're going to you know, blow up that scoreboard because the Falcons' defense is still not where they should be, and I do believe the Eagles are going to take care of business tomorrow night. I know there's been a lot of Falcon fans who, who have been you know, saying a lot of stuff, but I think they're going to be quiet after tomorrow. <laughs> I think they'll be quiet by the third quarter come tomorrow night. I think the Eagles take care of business and um, get off the season on the right, on the right note. Um, okay, so that's going to do it for this video, my prediction videos. Damn thing keeps going off. Uh, but that's going to do it for my my prediction videos and video for the season. Um, next video you will see is going to be the start 
the, the, the true start of the season of the season of the fans, season number two. Philadelphia Eagles 2015-16 season. Looking forward to it. I think it's going to be a great year, the ultimate year. And so let's get to it. Go Birds! Beat the Falcons tomorrow night, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Okay, everyone, take care. Bye. Damn that alarm! <laughs>